Hey everybody, it's Andrew Hill with Manifest Ministries, and I want to talk a little bit about the Battle of Shiloh. So a few years ago, I'd say two years ago, the Lord said to me that if you read Jeremiah, you'll find my heart, and if you read Acts, you'll find my strategies. So uh, over time, I've been reading through Jeremiah, I'm reading through the book of Acts, and I, I honestly haven't done a very good job with it, because I, f I wanted to be you know, led by the Spirit, but I would get away from this reading is one thing to get new revelation, but also to be steadfast in what God's already given you. And I feel like I should be much farther in the book of Jeremiah than I should be. And I'm only in like chapter 7. And anyone who knows me, I'll get parked on a, one verse and I'll just live in that verse for a little while. But it's amazing how God will bring things around in perfect timing. When I thought I was really off and behind, the word that he gave me last night through chapter 7 was perfectly timed. So I want to just encourage you in that and being led by the Spirit and the Spirit leading you in all truth. So the verse that I came across in Jeremiah 7, 12, it says, go now to my place. This is the Lord speaking. He says, go now to my place that was in Shiloh, where I made my name dwell at first and see what I did to it because of the evil my, uh, of my people, Israel. So he was speaking through Jeremiah and he was saying, look, if you don't think I'm serious about you guys turning away from this evil that you're committing, go back to Shiloh and look what I did. So I, I know a little bit about Shiloh, I know the meaning of the word and, and what it means, um, uh, but I didn't know this battle, I didn't remember, or this, uh, excuse me, this, this judgment that came upon the Lord. And so I said, I Googled it and I said, uh, what happened in Shiloh? Well, Google directed me towards uh, the battle of Shiloh during the Civil War. This was very, very interesting to me. So it was called the Battle of Shiloh by the Confederate side, and that's its most popular name, because the battle took place near a church called Shiloh. Okay, this was in Tennessee. Now, the Union called it the, the Pittsburgh Landing, the Battle of Pittsburgh Landing, and that, it, so that battle is also known by that name, but the most popular name is the Battle of Shiloh, and there was a church that was there, and Shiloh means the place of peace. Now, this war, this Civil War was a surprise attack um, uh, the Confederates surprised Ulysses and his men. They came up from Mississippi and attacked them. And this took place on April from the 6th to the 7th, 1862. And there were 23,000 dead and wounded in this battle. It was the bloodiest battle of the Civil War up to that point. And this really brought about just a Selah moment for me. Like I just paused and just began to really meditate upon what this means. And my heart was like, God, can we avoid a civil war in the church? The Lord has been speaking to me about a civil war that is coming to the church and, the, and righteousness is actually stirring up the civil war. As righteousness continues to go forward in the courts and in the land, what's gonna happen is it's going to stir up the hearts of people and many in the body of Christ who adhere to the shedding of innocent blood, you know, I'm speaking of abortion particularly, there's going to be opposition uh, or in a division between those who are pro-life and what I call pro-death. Uh, in the body of Christ, this judgment is coming to, within the church, this, this, this um, line that's being drawn. And so my heart and prayer is that, Lord, we can avoid this and that there's a revelation brought to brothers and sisters who continually side with death and that their eyes will be open to this. I don't, I don't wanna see major casualties in the body of Christ. And speaking of casualties, it's, I believe it's more in the sense of ministries that are going to fold up, pastors and leaders who are no longer going to be relevant or they're going to be moved into a place because when you connect yourself or, 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 or vote or come in covenant or commitment or any kind of contact and you come into agreement with the shedding of innocent blood, you are actually coming under a, something, a judgment from God that he is against. He's actually against the shedding of innocent blood. He hates it. He sees it as an abomination. There's a proverb that speaks about this, and it says, the righteous who agree with wickedness are as the same as the wicked who come against the righteous. They both are an abomination to the Lord. So this is a tremendous civil war that I believe is coming in the body of Christ that we have to prepare for. And this message about the civil war battle of Shiloh and in the very place where there should be peace, in the very place of the church, there was a battle going on all around. And um, this spoke very um, powerfully to me of what's to come. This has been an ongoing battle. There, there have been other topics that have split the church. I know in the Methodist church, there was a real division concerning homosexuals and leadership. 
those who practice what the Bible calls the, the man link with a man and a woman with a woman. This is this is um, very clear in Scripture that it is abomination, that it is something detestable before God, and that we should not have Christian leaders in a place of not only not practicing it, but definitely not in a place of leadership. And there was a division within the Methodist Church. This happened some years ago. But I believe on a much broader scale, the most, the premier issue in God's heart is the shedding of innocent blood. And so I am praying to the Father that this war can be abated and that revelation comes. But it may be an inevitable battle that must take place so that there is more, a, a secure footing on the other side. Everything that can be shaken is being shaken. So Father, I just thank you, Lord, that you are bringing justice, righteousness, and truth to um, this issue of abortion, to the shedding of innocent blood. You're opening the eyes of many mothers and fathers to the evil that it is, to the darkness that it is, that we would sacrifice our own children, that we would be involved with child sacrifice, that we would be involved with the shedding of innocent blood. Lord, you've been speaking to me that you consecrated and made holy Jeremiah in his mother's womb. In Jeremiah 1, 5, you say that he was already made holy in the womb. God, so children come forth consecrated. They come forth with a destiny and they're sanctified. They're set apart in the womb for your purposes. And when we kill them, God, we cancel that destiny in the earth. We cancel your will in the earth. So I pray that we would pull ourselves from the entanglement of sin and that we would remove ourselves from any dark agreement when it comes to this in the name of Jesus, Father. Amen.